Hey guys, it's Prince Rich with Rich Technology Group. And in today's video, we have actually been invited to a webinar that we were given permission to record from Momentum Telecom. First, before I go into what this webinar is going to be about, for those of you who don't know, Momentum Telecom is one of the many voice over IP phone system platform providers that we represent. Um, they have clients all throughout the United States, ranging from as small as five extensions, you know, small business to companies that are everything from call centers to uh, school systems, public and private, to even 911 call centers and beyond. So um, in this particular webinar that we're going to record, Momentum has invited us to take a look at their unique integration with Microsoft Teams. So if you're somebody who's watching this and your business relies heavily on the Microsoft Teams platform and you'd like the idea of what if I had a voice over IP business phone system that integrated seamlessly with something like Microsoft Dynamics CRM, Microsoft Teams, Office 365, this video might be for you. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this video. And once this webinar starts, I'm going to be quiet and I'm going to record and I'm going to let you guys see an inside peek into Momentum Telecom's Microsoft Teams integration with their voice over IP platform. So stay tuned. We're just going to give a few minutes for everyone else to join and then we'll get started. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining. Uh, we'll just give it another minute or so until uh, the beeps die down here. Um, but, but thank you for joining the Momentum Telecom Microsoft Teams webinar. I'm a Director of Revenue Marketing here at Momentum, Beth Hildreth, if we haven't met before. And we're thrilled to have you join us uh, to learn a, bit, a little bit more about the Momentum Telecom Microsoft Teams solution. So we're going to get started with our slide deck. Um, everyone is currently in listen-only mode, uh, but if you have any questions, we will have some Q&A time at the end. Um, and you can type your chat right into uh, um, that little box on the left-hand side of your screen, and we'll have those answered at the end of the webinar. So thank you again, and uh, really looking forward to having your attention for this. I've got some great presenters on here, Mark Marquez our EVP of technology, and Patrick Higgins, our product manager, will be going through some slides for you. So thanks again, and if you have any questions, uh, please type it in the chat, and we'll get to those at the end of the webinar. Over to you, Mark. All right, appreciate it. Thank you, everybody, for, uh, for joining uh, the, the Momentum uh, Microsoft Teams webinar. Uh, we hope that, uh, hope that today's presentation is both uh, informative, and, and uh, at the end, we'll take uh, as many questions as we can. But we really wanted to take the chance to introduce the Momentum's Microsoft Teams product. Um, we've, been, we've spent a little over a year architecting this infrastructure. We've been in beta. Uh, we ran beta in 2000, early 2019 and uh, released this product in, in late 2019. And uh, we're, we're excited to show everybody exactly what, what we've got. Just a little bit of history on, on Momentum's experience with Microsoft. We were one of the first providers in 2007 uh, to integrate with Microsoft uh, with their OCS products. So back in, in uh, 2007, uh, we integrated our, our cloud voice uh, solution with OCS 2007. Um, we had used a, a functionality called remote call control presence. And uh, the, the theory back then was, uh, you know, a lot of, enterprise users have, have utilized Microsoft tools for their uh, instant messaging and presence and desktop collaboration. And, and OCS was, was Microsoft's first uh, stint at, at, at really desktop collaboration and chat and meetings and those types of things. In 2010, uh, they released their, their Microsoft Link product. Uh, we, we continued on with the remote call control and presence integration with Link. Uh, we also had overlay products that allowed uh, the Momentum hosted PBX uh, voice functionality to share presence and integration with Microsoft Link. And uh, Microsoft turned around and, and ended up buying Skype, which was really their first venture into, uh, into more of, of the voice functionality. Uh, so Skype, uh, Momentum deployed a full hosted Skype solution. Um, we've rolled out Skype for, I think, going on four or five years now. 
um, that incorporated all of their chat, meetings, collaboration, uh, calling, and integration with Momentum's uh, cloud voice and hosted PBX solutions. And uh, in late 2018, Microsoft released their what they call their Teams product. Uh, they've rolled all their features from OCS and Link and Skype into Teams. Uh, it is the first kind of cloud-only collaboration product from Microsoft. Uh, they've incorporated their chat, their instant messaging and chat product. They've incorporated all of the existing meetings functionality, um, all of their desktop and uh, conference room and web collaboration tools, and they have added calling into the mix. Um, so w with the Teams client now um, and the addition of, of phones such as Polycom, uh, Yealink, Microsoft has, has basically created a, a PBX in the cloud with their Microsoft Teams product. Um, some of the things that Microsoft looks to do is they've obviously released their Office 365 product. Um, they're looking at it to continue to enhance that with uh, some contextual searching as more and more collaboration and activities uh, happen within, within all of the, the Office 365 tools. They're going to add some contextual searching within that capability. And as more data goes to the cloud, they're going to look to add artificial intelligence and, and uh, a lot of that data gathering uh, tools within Microsoft Teams. Momentum, since 2004, has, has had – we've been uh, providing enterprise and white-label voice services since 2004. We've also uh, deployed instant messaging and presence, desktop collaboration, contact centers, advanced IVR, tracking and reporting analytics. Our hosted solutions have been providing those services since 2004. Uh, we've been uh, adding features and functionality like all reporting, uh, everything that just mentioned since 2004. And we plan on integrating our solution with the Microsoft Teams product so we can take all of the traditional uh, cloud voice and advanced uh, hosted PBX solutions, and our plan is is to offer them an over, as overlay solutions to Microsoft Teams. I think Microsoft has done a really good job uh, at the collaboration. Um, it's their kind of n new entry point into enterprise voice solutions, and I think they're missing a lot of the features and functionality uh, that have been in cloud voice solutions since the early 2000s. So I think through Momentum's integration with Microsoft Teams, uh, and overlay solutions, we're going to be able to take the Microsoft Teams product and really uh, round it out to, to provide all of the, the features and functionality that traditional enterprises are, are looking for. From an architecture perspective, Momentum, uh, we've got... It just quit sharing. Oh, give me one second. We're working on the sharing here. All right, from an architecture, Momentum has been – are you seeing it? I'm seeing it. Okay, it's updating. All right, Momentum's architecture. So we've, we've, been, work, we've been in the cloud since 2004. Everything that is going to the cloud, everything from Office 365 solutions to storage has been going to the cloud, cloud voice is going to the cloud, desktop collaboration, conferencing, uh, recording, you name it, everything has gone to the cloud. So Momentum invested real heavily into building our, our POP infrastructure. So we've got over 27 POPs around the country. Uh, our goal has been to get customers to the Internet as quick as possible uh, to be able to take advantage of not only our cloud um, services, but also the, the, the popular cloud solutions that are out in the market. Um, with those 27 DIA POPs, we've got diverse carriers. Um, we offer connectivity like express routes to get customers uh, connected directly to the Microsoft Cloud. And we also have two different SD-WAN solutions where we can provide business connectivity or business continuity uh, through multiple circuits and multiple vendors uh, to aggregate bandwidth and uh, simplify network management for customers that are trying to get to those services like Microsoft Teams and, and, and other cloud voice applications that, that, they're, that they're trying to get to. If you look at the Microsoft Teams architecture, the way we look at it from an engineering perspective is, is Microsoft Teams is similar. I like to think about it like a, like a, a PBX, um, similar to if customers were deploying a Cisco call manager, or if they were deploying a Mitel, or if they were deploying an Avaya. Um, we see that Microsoft Teams client um, at, or the Teams application and the clients as another PBX. So what we've built with the Microsoft Teams cloud is we've built uh, – 
we've utilized the Microsoft Teams direct routing connectivity to build the Microsoft Cloud directly into uh, Momentum's Philadelphia data center and uh, Momentum's Atlanta data center. Uh, we've built those in geographically redundant, high available uh, data centers. Those cloud connectivity is, is scalable and it, it, it offers customers a couple things. If you look at uh, Microsoft's direct routing, it allows customers to look at uh, providers like Momentum that can offer better rates. Um, it offers carrier redundancy. If you look at the Momentum infrastructure, we, we um, interconnect geo-redundantly with eight different carriers from uh, Level 3 CenturyLink to Verizon to AT&T uh, to Comcast to a to, uh, number of different providers. So we offer carrier redundancy options that, that aren't traditionally available in the Microsoft Cloud. We also offer uh, Microsoft diversity. So if you look at Microsoft and, and uh, the infrastructure, if there are ever issues within the Microsoft Teams infrastructure, with Momentum Direct Routing and, and PSTN connectivity, we offer uh, diversity to the Microsoft Cloud. So when your DIDs, when all of your uh, calling functionality reside with Momentum, we process those calls and send them to the Microsoft Cloud when it's available. If there's any issues getting to the Microsoft Cloud, we offer failover services where we can uh, incorporate cell phones, we can incorporate legacy PBXs, we can incorporate other options, third-party call centers, third-party uh, uh, answering services, um, IDRs in the cloud, uh, a number of different failover places where we can we can take the, the traffic that would traditionally terminate on Microsoft Teams and provide a, 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 a diversity option for it. We, we also, I'm going to cover just a little bit of the, some of the feature overlays that, that um, Patrick's going to discuss in product, but when we talk about some of the advanced IVRs, when we talk about uh, several different options for contact centers and omni-channel, uh, when we talk about advanced uh, reporting and analytics, certain features that aren't available within Microsoft Teams, we're able to, by our direct uh, routing connectivity to Microsoft and being the PSTN provider, we're able to overlay all of the features and functionality that you're used to getting with Momentum in our Cloud Voice product. We can overlay all of those features and functionality um, on top of the, the Microsoft Teams product, similar to, as I, as I stated earlier, if we're providing SIP trunks to a call manager, to a Mitel, to an Avaya, um, we're to, to traditional Skype platforms uh, where we overlaid all of those products. We've incorporated all of that features and functionality uh, with the Microsoft Direct uh, Routing connectivity. When customers need to look at features and functionality like paging, uh, if they've got faxing uh, capabilities that they need to, to provide, if they're looking at elevator phones, uh, guest type phones, uh, door phones, um, if they've got uh, legacy PBXs that they need to interop uh, with. Uh, there's a lot of uh, mergers and acquisitions in the market and companies will acquire PBXs. By incorporating Momentum's direct connectivity with Teams or SIP trunking within our cloud voice product, we're able to integrate a lot of the different solutions, uh, not just for Teams, but other acquired PBXs. Um, and then we can integrate with the Microsoft, or with the uh, Momentum Cloud PBX. So a lot of your customers may already be taking advantage of Mo Momentum's Cloud PBX product. Um, we look at the Microsoft Teams client, which companies are, are, are using and they're getting it with Office 365 as a, another device. So if you think about our users that, um, that have either a soft phone with us or if they've got our Polycom phones, um, our uh, Yaling phones, our um, Grandstream phones, you name it, um, if they're coming to us with Office 365 and they're running the Microsoft Teams soft phone and their numbers are already with Momentum and they may want to use the, Mo the Momentum uh, cloud voice solution, but they also want to voice enable that Microsoft Teams client, we're able to take that one number option and present calls to both uh, desktop phones that they may already have on their desk. We're also able to present that same call simultaneously to that Teams client. If they answer it on the Teams client, the, the phone will quit ringing on their desk. If they answer it on the desk, their, their Teams client will quit ringing. Uh, so that's done simultaneously. And then from an outbound perspective, if a user uh, picks up their, their Teams client and makes an outgoing call, uh, it's going to present the Momentum telephone number. If they pick up their Momentum desktop phone and make an outgoing call, it's going to present 
uh, the, the, the same momentum telephone number that, that, they, that they traditionally had and that they're going to continue to use going forward. If you look at the Microsoft Teams um, connectivity, we talked about all of the different carriers. We talked about the geo-redundant data centers. We talked about the Microsoft diversity. Uh, and we talked about the, the Teams cloud really being another PBX that we can add all of the overlay features. So one of the things that, that Momentum has done um, is to help customers configure Microsoft Teams. So to, in order to voice enable Microsoft Teams and in order to make that, that client uh, voice accessible, uh, a lot of the administration with Microsoft Teams is done through PowerShell. So you have to do things like make sure that the user has the right uh, cloud PBX license from Microsoft. Um, you've got to make sure that um, the PSTN gateways are set up. Uh, you've got to make sure that the online PSTN usage is defined, uh, that the online voice routes and number patterns are all defined. Uh, you've got to create routing policies on the voice side, and you've got to set the user, the telephone number, and the voicemail uh, for that Microsoft Teams user in order to voice enable it. All of that can administration functionality is done with PowerShell. Not every enterprise out there has engineers that are capable of, of PowerShell. So micro, uh, Momentum's got a Microsoft team that uh, works with customers to manage that PowerShell configuration to voice enable all of those Teams clients so we can make the, the voice rollout with Microsoft Teams uh, and integrated with Momentum successful. We also have an administrator portal that we're going to cover in a couple slides down the road um, where we do number porting and we do new number uh, acquires. And, through our, our portal, we do things like uh, identity access management and uh, single sign-on capabilities with Okta and Azure AD. When users are, are using the Momentum integrated Microsoft Teams, our portal, what we call RPX, uh, as users uh, select the Microsoft Teams licensing, our portal is either going to do one of two things. We are either going to, uh, with access to that customer's Office 365 account, we are going to pre-configure all of the PowerShell uh, scripting requirements to, to voice enable that user on that customer's behalf, or some enterprises that have their own Office 365 and Microsoft Teams administrators, our portal will present a notepad file for each of the users with all of the pre-configured um, PowerShell commands that they're going to have to run to voice enable all of the Teams clients. So we've done a lot of integration and a lot of testing and, and a lot of simplification to make sure that our customers are able to get the Teams uh, soft phones and the Teams devices up and running and integrated with the Momentum solution. All right, we think that our solution with, uh, with Microsoft Teams is, is kind of one of a kind. Um, we've taken all of the experience with the hosted voice um, all of our experience with PSTN and porting, uh, all of our previous Microsoft experience um, with, with, uh, with Link and OCS and Skype, um, and now Teams, we've, we've done the integration. We've, we're known for our reliability of our infrastructure, so when it comes to, we always say that voice cust or enterprises want to make sure that their voice is up all of the time, right? They want it to be up 100% of the time. Uh, and we've built our infrastructure to be enterprise grade. With the integration of Microsoft and other devices and other applications, customers are going to continue to want to make sure that that, that voice is reliable, uh, that they've got high definition voice quality, uh, that we've got diversity to Microsoft, that we've got failover within our carrier builds, within our uh, momentum infrastructure, within uh, the, the Direct Connect infrastructure with, with Microsoft. And then when they look at enterprise features and functionality, we're going to be able to overlay all of the uh, features and functionality that, that Patrick's going to cover here in a little bit more. So I think the combination of the overlays, the failover, uh, the high definition, the, the reliability, the, the integration with Microsoft Teams, um, we've, we're going to introduce some uh, functionality where we, we can voice enable hosted PBX with Teams. We've got customers that want to go 100% to Microsoft Teams. We can be the PSTN carrier there. And then we've got large enterprises that come to us with uh, Cisco call managers, with Avias, with Mitels, and they also want to integrate into Microsoft Teams. So when Momentum is providing SIP trunking to those customers on traditional legacy PBXs, we can use our cloud enhanced kind of cloud infrastructure to integrate Teams automatically for them. 
So all of the integration that, that Momentum has done and completed and tested, um, we can provide that to customers that, that have traditional uh, premise-based PBXs and instantly integrate them into Microsoft Teams. And then we, we've, Momentum's got a subscriber portal. So we've got a, an administration portal and a subscriber portal where when you're using Momentum as your PSTN provider and all of the features and functionality, the recording, the reporting, all of the overlay products, uh, the Momentum subscriber portal gives customers an, an option for all of the overlay products to configure and manage. We also offer the, the PSTN uh, failover configuration um, the, the unreachable numbers, so if there's any, any, ever any issues with uh, getting to a voicemail within Teams or getting to Microsoft Teams uh, in general, our portals allow our customers to, uh, to, to go in, uh, set up those, those non-reachable destinations to be either cell phones or, or traditional momentum phones to be able to, to continue receiving calls. All right, I'm going to turn it over to Patrick to really look at the product side. The product's really going to talk about the Microsoft Teams uh, licensing options, uh, the calling uh, options that Momentum provides, uh, the hosted PBX licensing and integration, and we're going to talk about the SIP trunking uh, solutions for future PBXs like Cisco Call Managers, Mitels, and Avias, and, and so on to be able to integrate Teams. Patrick. Take it over. Hello. Uh, thank you, uh, Mark, uh, for that network uh, really uh, description. Again, my name is Patrick Higgins. I'm in product management over here at Momentum Telecom. Uh, if I haven't spoken with you or met you in the past, look forward to doing so in the future. Uh, as Mark previously mentioned, uh, this has been the highest uh, priority on uh, on our agenda here since uh, really mid the middle part of last year so uh, we were you know pleased to get it out there and one thing that I want to make sure um, let me move on to this next slide real quick um, and this is a visual representation of what uh, Mark had already mentioned just to make sure that you kind of understand this uh, product evolution on our side it's uh, think of uh, it's a it really is a product suite uh, of, uh, and we are you know doing a lot of work to, to uh, as Microsoft enhances, it's going to require us to continue to enhance and add more features and benefits uh, to set ourselves apart. But with reg what we're trying to say on this particular slide here is there are many ways that a carrier such as Momentum can integrate with Microsoft Teams. Uh, the first one really is the standard, what we would call just a direct SIP trunk connection to the Office 365 Teams Cloud PBX, and that's how we like to think about it, uh, the, that it's nothing more than a Cloud PBX. You know, and we like to speak about these types of connectivity and what's best for what customers in solutions and in use cases. And best application for when, when we're talking about, you know, directly, connection, directly connecting to the Teams Cloud PBX via SIP trunks or whatnot. Um, it's for large enterprise users that really just want to utilize the core Microsoft Teams functionality uh, that they've delivered directly um, within the desktop client. Uh, that's the, the most simple uh, description we can get to. What we're looking at uh, on the second bullet point, two, this really uh, gets at overlaying um, all of the, or many of the Microsoft, uh, uh, excuse me, of the Momentum uh, hosted features and, and dropping them on top of the Microsoft Teams experience so that users can take full advantage of our experience in hosted cloud voice as we also deliver solutions specifically designed around call center, call center functionality, uh, you know, uh, IVR, um, you know, voice recognition and, and call recording and reporting, and we'll cover some of that. So that's kind of what we're talking about uh, in that second bullet point. The third bullet point, again, uh, tries to denote when we're talking about uh, the forked approach, 
with regards to large enterprise customers that have existing PBXs, as you can see, Mitel, a Cisco call manager system, or of course an Avaya, where they are currently delivering their own uh, voice uh, today, but, by all, but also have a need for whatever reason to also um, co-manage Microsoft Teams for, there's a host of reasons this would be. Uh, this would, you know, the reasons, I mean, to continue to utilize uh, existing um, hardware, of course, but also to utilize um, Microsoft Teams as a collaboration tool. Uh, but we did a lot of talking. We just wanted one slide to help you kind of see where we're going. And a as well as options uh, number one and number two are currently available, and we are uh, moving forward and working uh, frantically, honestly, to uh, get things nailed down for option three. Okay, this gets at, uh, again, the overlay services that we are making available to Teams uh, uh, customers. Call center. Um, call center, obviously, we're going to offer um, our what we would consider base, base brought off call center for agents and supervisors. But we're also offering uh, anything, you know, standard ACD, voice, um, omni-channel, where we're bringing in uh, call center capabilities that would include chat and email. Um, and where we try and make ourselves different in this space is that, as Mark mentioned, in some instances, you know, Microsoft has not been able to deliver some of these features. And an example of this would be their base call center. Teams does offer a basic call center option, or basically what it is, the queuing option. And we like to think that our call center solution, whether it's just a standard voice ACD solution or, of course, our omni-channel, offers a much more uh, user-rich experience offering uh, many different types of routing capabilities, functionality, uh, that any um, enterprise call center would expect. Call recording. Um, again, call recording is very popular across the board when it comes to, you know, standard hosted users. Um, it's primarily used more, honestly, with large enterprise call centers. And uh, th the common theme is here, you'll see a lot of these features that we're going to overlay really have a lot to do with the call center environment, but nonetheless, Call recording is something that, of course, as you know, is available down to the user. I will say this uh, as an example. At present, Microsoft does not offer um, individual user call recording. Uh, you can only record uh, on the Teams platform uh, recording for conference calls. And so, again, we like to think of that as a differentiator, um, you know, Think about that when you're trying to find a fit for a, uh, a customer. The next little uh, bullet point there is advanced IVR solutions. And basically what we're talking about here is, again, this is an overlay service where we would, you know, uh, voice enable, uh, as an example, an auto attendant. And instead of, you know, allowing a customer to push one for support, two for sales, you know, we would like our customer, the, the customer to be able to say as well sales or support, again, by voice enabling. But there's also other features that that particular uh, product suite offers when you overlay it uh, on, on top of uh, Microsoft Teams. You can do enhance, um, enhance queuing or call center uh, callback, as an example. Um, you can also do, you know, advanced routing. So again, it just upgrades the solution uh, on top of Teams uh, that enterprise customers have come to expect. Um, that fourth bullet point to the right there, call reporting or call analytics. Um, it's a very popular service. Again, it is used uh, across the board for just standard users. Um, very rarely does an organization invest in a call center without looking to drop this on top uh, if you're spending that kind of money on a call center with employees and equipment, you want to know where your calls are going. Again, this is very popular, um, and it is, we're bringing that type of service 
and combining it with the team's experience. Mark had already mentioned uh, earlier that obviously, you know, uh, again, Microsoft does not have the capability today to offer anything with respect to overhead paging or the analog types of services, analog faxing as an example. All enterprises, even in today's um, world, honestly, there is still a need for faxing and things of that nature. You got to get business done. And so, you know, we would be able to incorporate that into the solution that we would deliver the customer. Um, and again, uh, we also offer agent receptionist software. Some of you may, may or may not be um, aware. A again, the um, broad soft software that's been out there for a while, but uh, of late we've really been selling a lot of uh, uh, um, uh, vendor that we've been pushing, Unity, and their agent and um, receptionist and supervisor software that really uh, ups the game for an enterprise call center, uh, makes them a good bit more um, <coughs> efficient. Now, when we're talking about some of these features, and I'll get off this slide, I don't want to bore anyone, but again, the Microsoft Teams, what we're doing is, it, it, it's a cloud PBX, and so when we're talking about some of these services, uh, specifically call recording and reporting, because the calls are going into the cloud, um, that PBX, uh, just like in standard SIP drunk PBX connections today, if the call remains in the cloud, you know, we're not able to see every leg of the call, so there would be some um, uh, call reporting or call recording um, uh, things to discuss when we're designing so the solution. Um, you know, we can't record it, obviously, if we can't see that call. So I'm just throwing that out there um, as a as a me as a discussion <laughs> down the road. We'll go to the next slide here. Okay, um, with respect to endpoints or handsets, uh, we have already made available a full line of certified uh, Microsoft Teams poly endpoints. And as you can see up there on the slide, we are in support of the Alara 60 series, uh, the CCX series, the 4, 5, and 600. That is Polycom's or Poly's brand new line of Teams phones. Um, just w with respect to the team's um, endpoints, you know, each of these vendors, uh, manufacturers, you know, they deal directly with Microsoft. Um, we, we've, we're not writing the team's client code that runs, firmware, firmware, excuse me, that runs on these phones. So our interrupt process is uh, quite a bit more um, simplified, and we certainly enjoy that. Um, Another phone that we've just recently, in the last couple of weeks, have made available uh, for Teams users is the Trio 88 and 8500. So, um, nice thing about this is these phones are backwards compatible. So, if we're taking an existing, um, let's say, hosted uh, Momentum customer today, and they wanted to convert the Teams, if they had conference rooms, as an example, using these Poly Trio phones, the 88 or 8500, we could update the firmware on site and make them MS Teams phones. And of course, we could go from Teams to uh, standard SIP. So uh, nonetheless, it is, uh, makes things a little bit easier in a conversion scenario. And we'll go to the next slide. We are also, we've also already uh, made a full line uh, available of Yealink Teams um, phones for both purchase and rent. Um, and at present, we are supporting the V50, VP59, that video phone, uh, T58, and it is on this particular list, I apologize, T56A and the T55A. Um, you know, both manufacturers, honestly, in the grand scheme of things, have done a pretty good job of coming up with a pretty robust product line. As you see there, uh, Yealink CP960 uh, is also available, and this runs in the same uh, stead as the Polytrio. Uh, this is their um, 
the same Yealink SIP960 that we have out in the field. And of course, those can be updated um, on site to uh, fully support teams or vice versa, whatever the case may be. Um, additionally, we have also worked with and implemented uh, a location or two with Crestron uh, uh, endpoints. So if we, we're not going to be specifically selling and supporting those units, I might add, not right now, but if there's a customer out there interested in them or did have those already on site, we would be able to um, work with them as well. Uh, we're also looking at uh, Microsoft Teams rooms, okay? So Yealink uh, has a full line of Teams rooms that we're looking at to integrate and support. Uh, if you're familiar with it, we're calling, they call it the MVC line as an example. Poly also has their own line and we're looking at, you know, each of them have several different rooms for many different sizes. We're not going to be carrying and supporting all of them. Uh, we will be, though, getting a few of those into our price book here in the next month or two. And uh, we're just trying to uh, handle everything, to be honest with you. Uh, and obviously, for any of these endpoints, we will be handling and supporting all of the uh, accessories uh, that one would need, right? Um, one quick thing I, I would like to say about the endpoints is that, and you know, I don't know who out there has used Teams, the Teams client, uh, as a, um, a collaboration tool, uh, but you know, uh, there is no, today, I'll say this, at present, there is no inherent connectivity between the computer and an endpoint, all right? Um, uh, by and large, uh, the vast majority of Microsoft Teams users out there um, utilize the soft client, okay? So if they're wanting to make calls, they're dialing directly from uh, the soft phone. If they need a headset, they're just plugging in a USB headset in their computer and they're um, just rocking and rolling. Obviously, there are needs uh, certain instances when you want to have uh, a handset on the desk, right? There's a certain user group um, uh, in the office, right? I mean, I've been around a good bit. I got to have a phone on my desk. When my phone rings, I want it to ring. I need to pick pick it up and talk to somebody. Um, it's kind of hard to hang a computer on a wall in, say, a kitchen or a break room, right? Another perfect example of when you're going to need a phone, an endpoint. Uh, just like a uh, conference room and whatnot. So, um, nonetheless, I just, you know, there are specific use cases where end set, the, the endpoints uh, are definitely needed. But just to, to, so that everybody knows, as of today, there's no click to dial, okay? And we sell a nice um, UC1 product, what we call Mobility View, in case any, any of you have used it. It has a click to dial with a call through back to the phone. Okay, that does not exist in the team's experience today. Um, Microsoft is working on that feverishly, and we are told that sometime by the end of uh, second quarter uh, that they should have that. And of course, we will certainly make that available um, to all of our users uh, at that point. Okay, and again, as we had mentioned in an earlier slide, uh, we are ramping up uh, feverishly at the moment to be in full support of the Office 365 licenses uh, to sell them uh, to customers who would need to upgrade or just need to move to Office 365 in total. So, uh, in, in, so any of the licenses that one would need um, to get Office, or excuse me, to get Microsoft Teams off the ground. So that's the E1, E3, and E5 licenses, and of course, any anybody uh, doing business with Microsoft today is is familiar with that, with with the the license structure. We would also, as you can see, be selling the Microsoft Phone System add-on, Teams conferencing, common area phones, and of course, the Teams meeting room. So um, we're looking to make this available in April. 
uh, we're just working through the process, uh, to be honest with you, uh, trying to understand exactly how we're going to sell and support that type of uh, uh, structure. With regards to the service support and implementation, we are really um, um, aligning a team's implementation uh, along with it, what we're doing in the hosted environment. Uh, and we're expecting uh, most of the solutions out there to be an exact, uh, to have overlay features and whatnot. So when you come on board, you'll be assigned a project manager and whatnot, and we will work hand in hand as we bring your, uh, your tenant online. And again, there are going to be several different uh, levels of, of uh, implementation services, right? And we, we offer a white glove experience if there isn't anyone within your organization, as Mark had mentioned, who is familiar with PowerShell. Uh, the PowerShell command that it takes to get the Office 365 tenant off the ground. So, and all of that defines the momentum experience. All right, Beth. I think you're. Yes, we'll be done for a few. And, few more minutes in case anyone has any questions they want to put in the chat window. Uh, so we'll hang out for a couple more minutes here to take any of those. If you want to add those into your chat, you can answer those as they come in. And thank you, everybody, for joining. We will send out this recording. Uh, so if you have any uh, colleagues that miss this, you, know, you can forward that to them. Um, thank you again for joining. Thank you, Patrick and Mark. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Patrick, we have a question. Uh, if you have a phone that is not a 365 user, does the 365 user see the presence of that phone? One more time. Um, was this, so if you have you, a phone that is not currently an Office 365 user, uh, do the other 365 users or the 365 users in that organization see the presence of that phone? Yeah, so pre presence within Microsoft, within the Teams, stays within that Teams uh, platform. On the reverse, though, if they've got Momentum product sets because we're the PSTN carrier and we see every call that's going to Teams or whether it's going to a, a Momentum Cloud Voice uh, handset, we are able to show presence. So if you're running applications like Receptionist or Contact Center and you're integrating the Contact Center users with Teams, or even just regular users with Teams, our applications will be able to show presence, but not the reverse. Yeah. Okay, we've got another two-part question. Um, and considering this is relatively variable depending on the license, but how does the Teams Cloud PBX cost roughly per user extension ballpark uh, from Microsoft natively, I guess, or in comparison to something we'd be offering? Sure. So if you look at the way Microsoft does their licensing, um, the, the, they've got the E1, the E3, and the E5 licenses, um, and then they have what's called an E7 license. The E7 license is the only one uh, that comes with the calling and the Cloud PBX functionality from Microsoft, uh, and it's pretty expensive. If you look at the user base out there, most of them are buying E1, E3, and E5, and those licenses do not come uh, with the cloud calling capabilities. So if you go to a customer that's got an E3 license or an E5 license, there's really two options for um, voice enabling the Microsoft Teams product. One is each user is required to have a, what's called the Microsoft phone system or their uh, cloud PBX license. It is an $8 add-on from Microsoft per user. And then if you were to go directly to Microsoft, um, they sell what's called calling plans. So you would be required to buy the $8 uh, Cloud PBX license, um, and then you would have to buy a calling plan. And, and they offer two calling plans. 
One of them is $12 domestic only, uh, 2,000 minutes, and it is $12. So you would have the $8 plus the $12 for 2,000 minutes domestic only. Uh, and they offer a calling plan two, uh, which is $24. So you would have to have the $8 plus the $24 uh, with the calling plan two. That license offers international. It still has a 2,000 minute um, mm. uh, limit, whether it's 2,000 international or 2,000 domestic. The combined total of domestic international is is, is a limit of 2,000 user or 2,000 minutes. <coughs> More questions. Uh, is there a minimum number of users or extensions that is ideal to qualify for this solution and support via Momentum Telecom? I, Beth, I mean, from a product standpoint, our sales teams um, have a they, they I don't know what they call it the minimum they have a yeah. minimum minimum quote per location or per customer. So I th for for the traditional voice PBX solutions, um, I think those same limits are going to apply to the Microsoft Teams. Yeah. Agreed. That would be my answer. Yeah. Same as our Cloud Voice solution. Same as Cloud Voice. Yeah. Yeah. And one more question so far. Uh, with the Momentum Team solution, would all endpoints, if necessary, um, or if needed, be the T-Series sets, or could they be standard poly or Yaling sets and function alongside of the, the team's PC features? Um, if, let's see, again, we've got a few different connection options, right? And there is a solution that we would offer. And I think this would uh, be more apt for a customer, an existing hosted customer that had an embedded base of um, SIP phones, right? So they had Yaylink, Polycom, whatever, and they wanted to convert to Teams. The answer is yes, you can use their existing phones uh, in a Teams environment, although at that point it would become a shared call appearance and there would be a couple of decremented features, right? You wouldn't see favorites, nor would you be able to see BLFs, but absolutely we can use any and all of those phones on the network. So there wouldn't be the need to have two different endpoints per se on their desk. Um, you know, an existing phone post-conversion, uh, but that's only for um, the uh, the, the example that I had given, that would be item number two, where we would be able, where we would be able to overlay features. Mark, do you yeah. want to add to yeah, that? Yeah, sure. If, I, the easiest way I can simplify it is to think of the Teams soft phone client as another device, right? So if you've got current users that are using Momentum hosted PBX, we can add another device, which would be that Teams client. So we're able to overlay or add Teams to existing uh, Momentum PBX users. We, you may also have a large enterprise where the IT department or the development group wants to be all teams, yet the rest of the business is running traditional uh, Momentum Cloud PBX. We're able to mix and match users where some users can be Microsoft Teams, some can be uh, Momentum uh, Cloud Voice PBX. Um, we can add teams onto every uh, Momentum Cloud PBX user, or you could have a, a business that wants to go 100% teams. Um, and, and where the benefits are that we had talked earlier is really, um, one, the diversity, the carrier diversity. We offer a lot of traditional PSTN uh, functionality like um, enhanced toll-free, dual rest board toll-free, toll -free, multiple carriers, and all of the overlay features and functionality that Patrick had covered earlier with the call center, uh, omni-channel, reporting, uh, call recording, um, screen recording, uh, audio mining, analytics, uh, IVR, uh, kind of uh, all of the functionality that, that, that's not inherent in Microsoft, we could take a customer that wants to go 100% Teams and overlay those, all of that features and functionality to a customer that has, uh, that, that's all Teams. And then that third option that Patrick covered was the customers that come to you with Avaya, with Mitel, with Cisco, any traditional premise-based PBX solutions, and they may still be a couple years out from the end of their contracts, yet they've already invested in Office 365 licenses, and they'd like to incorporate that Microsoft Teams soft phone as another device in addition to their current kind of premise PBX devices. 
Uh, and then the fourth solution is kind of a mix and match of all of those with companies that are acquiring other companies where one, one may be Cisco call manager, one may be uh, Avaya, and some may be uh, hosted PBX with Momentum. We're able to mix and match those solutions to, to, to pretty much cover all bases. That was a long answer. I hope I covered everything. <laughs> That's it so far for questions. So give another minute or two if anyone has anything they'd like to add to the chat. Okay. Well, thank you all for joining, and thank you, Mark and Patrick, for your time and, and knowledge on Microsoft Teams. Uh, like I said, we will send out a recording of this later in the week. Uh, but thank you for joining and for your questions. Have a great day. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.